Hello, buddy. Princess and the Bear here. And we are Topolino. Topolino for breakfast. Yes. Character, Character breakfast. Dining. I'm excited. It's odd for us, at the very least. So we're gonna go in here and check it out. Hopefully they actually have some friends to eat. I'm sure. Interact with some characters and uh, hopefully they might get too full for the day. Be sure to eat breakfast. You heard the joke. Um, options when all your uh, juices and stuff come included in the breakfast. So this juice reminds me of Ohana. Bear can't have it because there's a potential of mango in it. And it tastes pretty identical to the uh, juice from Ohana breakfast. It's really good. I also got a lovely coffee. How do you take your coffee? Tell me in the comments. I want mine to like, like my soul. Yeah. We have very well brewed. Memories of Victorian Alberts. So what's good for me? They have almond milk for the coffee. Because I do not like my coffee black. Just don't eat it this morning though. Mm. Thirty five plus. Then we we'll have a pomegranate mimosa. That tastes like sparkling palm. It's very good. And we have this pomegranate mimosa with the strawberry I'm tempted to steal. I wish they got that. Four to five plus. And Bear got a Bellini, which I've never actually had fresh before. Attention! Here in the Riviera, artists come from all over the earth. I love that. Those mimosas are my favorite. And that's this peach Bellini. Which looks like you sacrificed the peach on top of it. Mm. Five out of five plus. I chose right. Bountiful paint. And look how cute this knife is. It's a paintbrush. Anyway, this is the vegan bounty. It's a bunch of um, donuts. They smell amazing. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's like a light glaze. It's very rich. It's good though. And then there's also a um, sugar one. It's like a plain. Mm. This is a better one. I cannot tell you the last time I had a donut. I can't wait to see really good. So, just dig through the princess pile of donuts here. So many pastries. This is meant for a table, but. Mm. It's very dense, but not in a bad way. Perfect for dunking in something. So crispy cream though. Three out of five plus. And as for this, it's like a painter's palette of pastries. So you have like your paints and then your bucket to wash your stuff on. You have your breadstick, which I believe is the same when you eat at dinner. We got some chocolate muffins, put some apple turnovers. There's some croissants down here in the bottom. No, it's just he needs to. Let's try this croissant first. Just apple turnover first. Oh. 
put your eye out with this thing. It's very sharp. Little mini muffins. Literally mini. Very light and ugly chocolate. Do that. Three and a half out of five claws. The apple turnover, four out of five claws. Croissant, a basic croissant. Slightly buttered. What they have is all these dipping sauces for which to paint your pastries with. That one's straight butter. Pick one up on the way out. <laughs> Apple? Chocolate. <laughs> I like the strawberry jam. The dips are all solid. Not portion of the butter, obviously. I'll give those two and a half out of five pounds. The whole thing is great. The way it's displayed everything else. Let me do that three and a half. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so pleased to welcome our prima plant-based bouncy here. It's so good. Got some just egg omelet, which I've never been able to just egg an omelet. <laughs> and a beyond sausage. It's a little tough, that's okay. I'm gonna do the egg and the sausage together. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you got reservations. 
Tastes like beyond sausage. And then the next morning I checked. Just egg. The omelet is very well executed. Very delicious. Oh, hi Daisy. Yeah, I'm looking good. Daisy says I look good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So cute. Here. How was your day today? Had looks? But it was just had looks. Apparently my eyebrows are, uh, yeah, painted on almost. <laughs> so egg, very good. You look so pretty. I want like a velvet pink top. Potatoes. I need it. Absolutely amazing. Okay. This dish is great. I would definitely order it again. It's a very unique so plant-based so option. I was a little scared of, but really, really good. I'm glad I got this. I have a feeling I'm gonna win the um, the versus here. I think Bear's gonna like mine better than his. Just a feeling. <laughs> Just taking a look at the princess's plate compared to mine. I look like I ordered for a two-year-old. Whereas like she's got like a complete meal over here. Beautifully folded egg with spinach. Looks like some tofu and peppers in here. No, mushrooms. It's like the kind of like omelet you see in food photography. It's like fluffy, perfect. The ingredients are evenly distributed throughout. I could draw an omelet better than that. Mm. Five out of five. That's probably the best chest egg I've had. Even better than Center Town Market. Standard Beyond Sauce is not overcooked. Smoky, we'll turn on the outside. Three to five points. And this spiced hash. I have no idea what to expect from this. Got this garnish and what looks like cheese sauce and onions in here. A little cake on the bottom. It's very good. There's a McMuffin there's a McMuffin very under there. Nice and golden. Mm, very much. It is a good consistency. The egg, the egg muffin is perfect. It's like crispy and buttered at the bottom. Potatoes and the sauce on it. It's not too much sauce. It's not too much potatoes. I like it. It's nowhere near as good as the princess's breakfast. Sadly enough, look, she's going to win this one again. But it's not half bad. I'd probably order this again. Three and a half out of five plus. That's wild. Very important. <laughs> Alright, ready? Go. Thank you so much, Hello everybody, Princess the Bear here, and we just finished that. Topolino's breakfast. Character breakfast, if that. Uh still holds true. I think character breakfast breakfast breakfasts, bre breakfasts are horribly expensive. Forty one dollars a person isn't sixty five, so I'm okay with that. I'm a child's millennial. None of my meals hold that alcohol. It's expensive. 
Yeah, the alcohol is separate. Yes. Whatever. The drinks yeah. are expensive. Yeah. Oh, always. But um, I actually quite enjoyed it. The atmosphere is nice. The characters here are amazing. Um, for the last year, I've been saying the best character dining location is Storybook Dining with Snow White. Hmm. Now I'm going to be saying the best character dining is Breakfast at Topolino's. Seriously, the best experience, best food, best everything. Yeah. Donald was getting it. Uh, yeah, Mickey may be king, but Donald owned this restaurant. His dancing interaction with the people was, was great. on point. It's probably the best Donald I've ever seen. Definitely. Oh, and, and Daisy, she did a little ballet thing when she came in, and Minnie and her thing. Yeah, they're, Mickey, all, they're, they're all great. They're all about the dancing here. Uh, awesome. the, the food was good. The princess food's obviously a little bit better My this food time. Was amazing. My food was okay. Uh, I kind of limited myself because so much of the food has dairy in it, and I didn't bring my magic pills this time. So I won. She, she won this time, but uh, this place is fun. Yes. I can't say we'll be back soon, but we'll definitely be back at some point. I would like to come back. If the menu ever changes, uh, we definitely come well, back here to try things. start offering lunch. And we still have to try this terrace bar here, which has not been open since we've been here. But you get to come sit out here at the yeah. terrace, so that's kind of nice. Like before and after your meal, come and enjoy the come view. Come outside, yeah, enjoy. You can see all four parks. Caribbean looks tiny AF. The one thing that got me here is that like they have like a selection of plushies and like I think like a book on the hotel, but it's on the menu, <laughs> not like in the yeah. store. It's like listed at the bottom of the menu. Take up a plush with your with your meal. Which is different. It's the plushes that the characters are wearing right. here too, which is great. I'm not hating on it, it's, it's just different. But um, this is definitely an interesting place. You get the chance to come to Topolino's for any meal, obviously. Uh, we're recommending this one. Definitely, yeah. definitely. It's definitely good. There's a lot of options and you don't feel like you're missing out on anything. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm. Open kitchen design, a nice like Italian it's vibe. Great. It's great. It's, it's definitely good. Come Better than a Tutora for the uh, Bon Voyage Adventure Breakfast. Kills that. It's very yeah. similar, though, I want to say. It's kind of similar, but I think it's it's a really good value for what you're paying, uh, for the food, anyway. But definitely come and try it. If you guys have plans to come here on your next trip, get some of the comments below. One of us will respond. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this, and we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Apparently the ears are ready to go, so <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. A renovation way, way back here in the distance is the ESPN zone. Mm -hmm. And then you have Galaxy's Edge right here. Yeah, Hollywood the Studios theaters. and the Chinese Theater there. If you look even further back, you can see it better at night. But if you go back, you know, there goes right there. Animal Kingdom. Yeah, there's and the tippy tippy tops over here are Pandora. Yeah, I just saw the the white caps right there. That's Blizzard Beach. Huh. And then way, way, way over there you have the Stino. So the Stino has an equal view, but I think this one is kind of more centralized. Yeah. And then way over there on the other side of the patio is Epcot, Epcot which is very weird. Very close. Very close.